version of your skimmer project. So for this, you need a ruler and a, a ballpoint pen and a pair of scissors. That's all you need for this portion of the project. And if you want to know if your measurements are correct, you don't need me to check it for you. Okay. The only answer key you need is your ruler. And you can re-measure to check to see if your measurements are correct. The main body panel should be 11 inches wide, which is really easy because it's the full width of the paper. And these lines here, this is this means inches, this means inches, so this should be four inches wide, three inches, three inches from here. This is an inches, this is a half an inch, half an inch, three inches to this dotted line here. And then the dimensions are all right here on this plan. So this plan is linked on Google Classroom. So if you want to double check before you start, this skimmer is designed to be constructed um, and it'll, it'll assemble well if everything is the correct size. If you made something the wrong size or you didn't measure well or something like that, it may not fit together as well. But I gave you enough cardstock that you can re-measure everything. So the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to just note the dotted and solid lines on the paper. And what you're going to do is the solid lines, the solid lines are for cutting. That equals, you're going to cut along those lines. And if the dotted lines are there, you're not going to do anything with them. You're going to fold and right now and later you're going to fold. Okay, we're going to score them. It's called scoring and folding, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so uh, these techniques are things that we uh, do with all of the rapid prototypes that we do this year. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're just going to note that these are all solid lines, and these are solid lines also here. So these solid lines you're going to actually cut, and you're going to stop right there at the dotted line. Don't cut any further. And just be as careful as possible. If there's lines that you have trouble seeing, you can darken them with your pencil before you begin cutting. So there's my main body panel and I can just put that aside. I'll do my first fin. Okay, and I'm just going to pause the video for a moment. Okay, so I've got my main body panel and my two fins cut out. Now with my air scoop, it's just really important that I don't cut on this dotted line here. I'm just going to cut on those solid lines. So go ahead and cut out your air scoop. Okay, at this point, you don't need this piece of paper anymore. This is extra, so you can recycle that. So now we've got our air scoop, our fin, and our main body panel. Um, right now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to invite you, if you'd like to decorate the outside or the surface of your skimmer with a design, remember these are supposed to be race cars or a logo or your name or a design of some sort, um, what you could do right now is you could either decorate the top here that where all the lines are, or if you don't want to see those lines on the outer part of your car, you can flip it over and you can decorate this side of it. With the fins, <clears throat> what you want to do, the fins are going to be um, set up like this. So one, you're going to decorate um, the sides of the fins that don't have any of the writing on them and that will orient them properly when you've got the, if you wanna draw on those. And the air scoop is actually gonna go underneath your, the, the skimmer. So you don't have to decorate that if you don't want to, but you might want to. I've had some kids like put a mandala on there or something like that. So now would be the time for you to decorate that before we do any folding. 
So if you'd like to decorate it, why don't you just pause this video and you can, um, actually, I'm going to finish this video right now, and you can use the colored pencils to decorate them. Okay. All right, this, this is the end of the first video.